with Brianna Juno. Welcome back. Taking a look at our Great Falls Clinic eye cam. We are seeing some nice sunny and clear skies this morning. Those highs are going to be around 90 degrees today, which is above average for this time of year. And over in the Helena Opportunity Bank of Montana weather cam, we're also seeing those sunny and clear skies with those highs today around 94 degrees. Again, that's around 10 degrees above average for this time of year, and it's definitely going to be a hot one. And you can expect the hottest temperatures to likely be on Wednesday and Thursday this week, where those high temperatures could approach around 100 degrees for some areas and low chances of precipitation are going to continue to be a trend throughout most of this week and you can see that in your Doppler radar. Currently there isn't a lot of precipitation moving throughout the area, not even a lot of cloud cover as well and those current temperatures are going to remain in the low to upper 50s but even over by Glasgow we are seeing those 60 degree temperatures already and we can expect that by around 11 a.m. that's when 80 degree temperatures are going to be around 4 today. So it's going to be a hot one and warming up pretty fast. This is because of that high pressure and that heat that is already making its way through the area and that infrared imagery can show that a lot of this heat is going to begin to move up through the area and this is because of your upper level patterns. Now it's really kind of easy to see this upper level ridge is what really is driving that high pressure to make its way through the area but we're seeing a little bit of that warmer air still going to hit our area before that hot air really digs in. And all this is going to do is just dry things out and really warm things up. But as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, like I said before, the likely the hottest days of this week, that's when that ridge is really going to hit um, the middle part of our state when that axis is over directly over the northern Rockies where that high pressure can really begin to settle into the area. Now again we're going to likely see these dry conditions continuing throughout most of the week and you can see in your future track there isn't going to be a lot of precipitation or showers or thunderstorms so it's definitely going to be pretty dry. Definitely different than what we saw last week with those scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout most of the day but these hot temperatures are going to prevail with these dry conditions. Not a a lot of cloud cover is going to be seen as well which will aid that daytime warming and we could see a little bit more cloud cover moving in for the evening times um, but mostly clear skies are going to be likely for the evening hours and taking a look at your sustained wind not super breezy as well pretty calm through um, out this morning and we can see those wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour throughout today and even continuing throughout most of this region as well and um, this period of time but you can expect your highs today to be well up into the mid to upper 80s and even the lower 90s for a lot of the area nice and hot and sunny and you can expect your lows tonight down into the 50s and even the 60s with mostly clear skies nice and cool if you are going to be outside i definitely um, would inform you to do it in the morning before it gets too hot 